Hello everyone and welcome to Saturday. Today felt good because uh, we continued working on things that were related to work. I was able to uh, work on some vlog stuff again and it's been a while since I got a chance to do that so that felt good. Um, but we also took the time to completely finish Mal Studio and the big part of that was the backdrop. Man, that backdrop. So um, back in Mal's old studio, aka the last place we lived, um, it was just fabric push pinned to the wall. And Mal really wanted to do something a little more professional since she was getting a chance to move and, and start over. And then also because she had more space. And so much of the other stuff uh, related to her, what she does in her studio is becoming more professional too, like the lights, uh, that she wanted to do something better. So she actually got a uh, different material because before she just like went to Walmart and bought black fabric. This time she actually ordered uh, something from Amazon that uh, wasn't terribly expensive, but it was like backdrop material. So that's literally what it was for. Um, but the big thing that took forever to do is that all of the little grommets that you see up there or don't see, there we go. Uh, those were put in by hand, and that was uh, a time-consuming process because Mallory bought a grommet kit, and she bought a grommet kit that was kind of cheap, I guess. And there's a part of the grommet kit that like is sharp, and you're supposed to hammer it onto the fabric, and it's supposed to cut the holes out, and it didn't. It didn't work. So Mal ended up having to cut all those holes out by hand with an X-Acto blade. Then when it came time to actually hammer in the grommets, they were going in a little funky, um, and it just it took a while to do. I finally figured out a good way of doing it, where instead of like hammering in the lot, if I hammered it once really hard with two hands, it would work the first time. So after we figured that out, we kind of, you know, skirted it along. But Mal did great because she's the one that came up with all that. Like it looks professional. It looks like she bought it that way, but she didn't. Like, it was just fabric, and she made a template, which I think she still has out, yeah. She made this template, which uh, allows you to have six inches between each thing, and she did that to figure out where to make the cuts, and then she did that along the wall to figure out where to put the uh, command hooks. So everything goes up, there's no holes in the wall, so when we finally do leave this place, since eventually we will, we're renting, there's nothing, there's no holes in the wall from any of this. She just pulls it down and that's it. It's pretty cool. She, she actually did really cool. Um, I also don't know if we mentioned that she got a C-stand, but she did. She got a C-stand um, because Mal and, uh, Mal and me changed the lenses on the cameras. We swapped them uh, for the breakfast stream cam. So now that one can zoom in and out. Mal doesn't really need that, so hers is now a prime lens, so it'll be a little sharper, but it has to be further away than it ever has been so the mic can't sit on top. So now she has a C-stand. AKA now we collectively have two C stands, which uh, could have a purpose. Um, but hey, neither of them are chilling in our living room and that's, that's a plus. Our living room, however, is still nightmare fuel. There's still stuff everywhere, but at least Mallory's studio at this point is basically 100% done. You look... I like it a lot. You do, um, and, and I can tell you The do. backdrop makes it feel smaller, it's weird. Really? Yeah, like I noticed it um, during game night because like it'll catch my eye and mm -hmm. it feels closer because of it because I notice it being a dark color over the light color of the rest of the walls. So it makes it feel smaller. Huh. But I mean, it's bigger than what I had. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot bigger. Yeah. So it's, well, at least you know you can just tell yourself that it's like a you know, psychological thing. Or something, and it's, it is actually physically bigger. Um, it was Saturday, so we did uh, we did game night. It is remarkably hot um, up here. We've actually been hitting record highs, uh, just in terms of like the the date. Like we've never had temperatures this high for this part of the year, and even now it's like I don't know one in the morning or two in the morning. Eighty eight degrees. And it, yeah, it's almost eighty degrees outside at night. Like in the middle of the night, it shouldn't be that hot, but that's what we're dealing with. I should probably mute this because this is probably gonna be filled with profanity. How do I do that? There we go. 
we played GTA Online uh, tonight, which was fun. It went well. Um, and then after, usually a lot of times after we play GTA Online, while we're still, uh, because people will stick around and we'll just chat a little bit. It's kind of our social time for the week, besides lunch bunch. Um, sometimes I'll just keep playing GTA single player uh, because I, I really enjoyed it whenever I, I played it when it first came out years ago. And uh, being able to play on the PC with like all the settings maxed, it's been really fun for me because uh, there's so much material that when I first played it on Xbox 360, like they, they, there's all these like textures for like little signs and stuff throughout the game that you'd never truly be able to enjoy. And uh, being able to run it at like the highest resolution and walk around and actually read those signs, I mean, not everyone's gonna care about that, but I think it's really cool. So I actually, I've been very slowly over the last, I don't know, year or so, just kind of playing through some of the, the single player, not a lot, but uh, using the opportunity to just like go into the convenience stores and like look at the packaging for the foods because it's so remarkably detailed. I really enjoy stuff like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I really got to share today. Um, I'm glad Mouse Studio is done. There's still a lot of work to be done here, and uh, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm finally starting. Like as of like yesterday slash today, I, I finally have a good footing on some of the Stephen Place stuff again, um, and I feel like I I'm not like trying to quickly like get stuff done. Um, and that, that's good because that allows me time to work on vlogs for one, but then also devote some time to getting this all cleared up because we can't live like this forever. Um, yes, we have moved in recently. Um, it's only been a week and a half, but also living in clutter is just inherently depressing. So we understand that we moved, but it doesn't make it any less depressing. So it's like, okay, we really got to get stuff done and put away. And I'm proud of the progress we've made, but like, there's still, there's still so much to do. One of the things we changed today is actually these lights. I know we changed the lights uh, not too long ago in this room, but I wanted to change them in this room too. So everything was too dim in here. And now in both the living room and the kitchen, it's super bright. Every light I think is 1500 lumens. So that between the, if you have all of these on, that's 12,000 lumens. That's a lot of lumens. That's almost as many lumens as come out of one of mouse studio lights. Well, from three feet away, I guess. Anyway, um, that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I am, uh, I'm happy. I'm just tired and uh, a little warm from being upstairs, but uh, tomorrow's another day. We're going to get more stuff done. I keep feeling like I have hair on my neck or something. I don't know what that's about. But I could probably use the shower. Let's be back tomorrow, shall we?